It's now official that U.S. regulators have allowed the emergency use of the experimental drug Rendemsphere. The antiviral drug has showed great promise by reducing the recovery time of COVID-19 patients. U.S. President Donald Trump announced yesterday Friday that the Food and Drug Administration has authorized Gilead Science for emergency use of Rendemsphere to treat the respiratory disease that has left the world on tenterhooks. The emergency use allows for Redemsphere to be distributed and administered intravenously by health care providers as appropriate to treat severe cases of COVID-19 in adults and children hospitalized with the disease. The trial also showed that treatment with antiviral drug could speed recovery in patients infected with COVID-19. The drug developed at Gilead Sciences was previously used to treat Ebola patients. Meanwhile, in Canada, the number of Ugandans who have been struck down with the virus has risen to more than 20 in one of the provinces. Solomon Nalovule, who is one of the Ugandan community leaders in Canada, paints a grim picture. So far we have over 20 people that tested positive. These people are living in their homes in self-isolation. Other people have been admitted to the hospital while others were isolated in two hotels by the government of Canada from public shelters. She also notes that some Ugandans who probably fear being stigmatized have opted not to come out of their shell. Nalovule adds that those that have come out of their shell are being helped in different ways by the community leaders. Um, so far as leaders in Toronto, we've reached out to the sick, visiting them in the hospital, but some of them you can't really um, get to them because of the virus, but maybe you drop off something that will help with their immune system. The picture coming out of the east coast of the U.S. is also disturbing. Timothy Kazinduka, a Ugandan living in New York, told NTV that the number of Ugandans infected keeps tickling along. He hasn't, however, heard of any new death from the Ugandan community. Unfortunately, more Ugandans have contracted um, COVID-19, but fortunately, at this moment, no more Ugandans have died from it. So we're hoping that uh, as the curve flattens, um, we don't have any more deaths um, in our community um, because it was very detrimental uh, what, what has been happening here in the New York and New Jersey area. In Los Angeles, California, the Orange County Superior Court judge has declined requests for temporary restraining orders lifting Governor Gavin Newsom's orders to close Orange County beaches. On Thursday, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach and Dana Point City Council voted to challenge the orders after the governor announced the hard closure of all state and local beaches in Orange County. Now here in the U.S., over 1.3 million people have already been tested positive of the virus. Now Governor Newsom here in California argues that he's not about to let anything lose to jeopardize the situation here in California, looking at the fact that California has really been doing so well with the curve flattening. Now some medical health experts argue that it's not good to rush to open up some of the states. More research all NTV here in Los Angeles, California.